Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Factorio here in our step-by-step -step to Mega Base series. In today's episode I would like to make a little in-between part where we just leave the new crafting hub to its own devices, uh, crafting ourselves more circuits and more modules and take care of a little something that I had in store for a while. You can see I already added stuff like the exoskeleton, the rocket launcher, the portable fusion reactor and of course all of this leads to the Spidertron. I have a couple of Spidertrons ready for me for the taking. I can just take them out of here and then add more Spidertrons. How wonderful. For instance, I'm definitely interested in multiple Spidertrons taking care of various construction jobs. For instance, we can have this guy here just filled up with solar panels and everything. And as a matter of fact, I might go ahead and do that right now. Let me think. If we have a look at our solar array right here, we can see we take take 620 solar panels and 560 accumulators. I would like this Spidertron to be able to place at least two solar arrays. So let's say 1,300 solar panels and 1,200 accumulators should be enough. Let's go ahead and set this up. 1,300 solar panels and then 1,200 accumulators right there. And at the same time, we take that out of our own Spider-Tron, get those accumulators and everything and put that back into the system so it can be put into the other Spider-Tron. And we can see the other Spider-Tron is now completely full. The only thing that's missing is, let me see, I also want a little bit of a pathway here. And I think we can have 1,500 each, right? So we have 1,500 units of concrete and then refined concrete as well. This should then completely fill up the Spidertron with these four materials. Now maybe we take a little bit away here from each pile. Say we have 1,300 instead for each of these, which will then leave me, for instance, 400 for some hazard concrete. So we can make even some patterns there. And that means I can also take this out of my previous Spider-Tron. Ooh, I don't want that inside of here anymore. And I'm gonna paint this guy blue or something along these lines. Where's blue? And of course, we're also gonna need a remote for each uh, different type of Spider-Tron. Inside the grid, of course, each of these guys is gonna require a portable fusion reactor. At least one. Yeah, one and then three exoskeletons would be great. And then we can fill up two of these guys with RoboPorts or even four, to be honest. Wait a second, that also means I need to build RoboPorts. Did I? Yeah, I don't have that queued up just yet. I don't think so. Well, let me get that new remote first of all. And we're gonna mm, calibrate it to new. No, wait, did that work? Yeah, I think so. No, I just inserted the remote. Uh, left click a Spidertron to connect it. Yeah, I should probably just read left click <laughs> okay nice so the blue remote is going to be my solar panel guy so all i need now is to craft the advanced robo ports as well i think i'm going to be setting that up right here what types of materials are we going to need steel batteries iron gear wheels and advanced circuits we already have steel there it is all the materials have been set up and i just have to keep crafting this and set up the advanced robo port here right next to it and also these ingredients are now set up. Just need some inserters and a storage chest for this. Roboport Mark II. Let's do... Yeah, I think just one stack should be good. Actually, do they stack? I will have to check on that. And I think for these guys, we're going to go with stack inserters since they take so many batteries and stuff. Yeah, the normal roboports are quite easy to do and we should be getting some low density structures as well. Let me see. Maybe I can just pick some up. Yeah, well, you look at that. I don't even require these guys. I'm going to send them to a passive provider chest here. Uh, actually, let's do it at the end of the line. So we are certain we're not going to require them. Uh, wait, no, this is not really convenient. I'm gonna put it right here where I wanted it originally and then we're gonna input it. Uh, actually, it's not inside of the logistics network. Of course, it had to be a little bit too low. Whoops, right here. We're actually already good. Wonderful. Okay, now this is part of the system and I can take advantage of it. And therefore now my stuff should be crafted. Great. Okay, we can now actually ask for robo ports to be part of our logistics. Good, with that out of the way, let's grab some exoskeletons. Already put that in here. One, two, three. This is going to be reserved for the portable fusion reactor. 
and then we only need to wait for the robo ports. However, I also would like to see some energy shields since we are gonna send Spidertrons into battle. Yeah, I think it will be worth setting this up. I'm gonna add two more assemblers. One is gonna be for the energy shield and then the other one for the advanced version. The normal energy shield is easy enough with just steel, advanced circuits, and then here we also need the low density structures and processing units. Got the processing units here, that's no problem. So just low density structures, let's maybe go with five stacks. Wow, I already got four personal robo ports. This is amazing. I'm gonna set up, let's say three of them. Ooh. Then we also need to automatically craft the batteries. Let's do that here. I want to see Mark 1 and Mark 2 batteries. Ooh, maybe then let's move it over or we can just remove this power pole, right? Yeah, we don't need that. So personal battery and then battery Mark 2. Let me just go ahead and add these. And now that I programmed that into the system, I'm also going to request some of these personal batteries Mark II. Now, honestly, it would also be great to have access to fusion reactors. They do not stack, I don't think so. Or do they? Maybe they stack to 20. <laughs> but I think I'm only going to need like five at any given time. Yeah, fusion reactor requires 200 processing units. I should have that actually here i should have lots and lots of processing units over a thousand in this storage bin and more queuing up i just see i might want to distribute them a little bit better on the belt uh, uh, there we go i think i just received one yeah wonderful let's put that right into the grid here Ooh, it's already charging oh so nice this guy here will not have to fight so i'm not even gonna bother filling it up However, what I do need to see are those batteries, and I totally forgot to extract them. Ooh, looks like I'm collecting too much stuff here. Let's go down to 100 with the low density structure here in this requester chest. Also, I'm gonna give my own Spidertron a little bit of a different color so I recognize it. Let's give my guy white. Like it. By the way, the next Spidertron is gonna be an outpost builder. Basically, I would like to request everything that has to do with miners. Electric mining drill, we want like 500 of these at least. Yeah, that would be 10 stacks. I like that. Also, that means I can get rid of that in my own inventory here and actually input the miners into the Spidertron instead. In order to build a proper outpost, this Spidertron is also going to require access to rails. So also at least a thousand, I would say. And then we also add some rail signals, uh, 50, uh, let's do 100. Then 100 chain signals as well. We're also going to require like two stacks of train stations. We're going to require small electric poles. Let's go with four stacks and then maybe big ones as well right and um, how much space do i still have oh i have plenty of space so that's not the issue in this case i'm gonna give myself the option of adding any type of pole like big electric pole as well we're gonna add 200 of them and then just one stack of substations this way i have the possibility to also set something else up it's also going to be responsible to craft everything that has to do with pump jacks. So we're going to load up two stacks of pump jacks. Naturally, that also means we're going to need access to pipes. Let's do four stacks and then quite a few of these as well. I also got some of the personal batteries now. That means we can complete this guy almost. Just one more battery to go. And then, of course, it also... Oh, I forgot about the robots. So let's be more specific with the amount of solar panels and so we need, so we don't take too many. That would be 1,250 solar panels now instead. And let's actually... Oh no, I deleted it. But what I meant to say is let's make it specific so the amount is going to be extracted if we have too much of it. Then 1,150 for the accumulators. Now I'm going to need 75 construction robots. That should be easy enough. Construction robots, these are yours. And another 25. Uh, wait, maybe we just do that via the logistics network as well. And we make sure that we always keep 75 of the robots. Yeah, I think this will be best regulated here. And then we keep a bunch of extra spots. Sure. So the only thing this guy's missing is the last battery. And then it's ready to go. Wonderful. This is my solar panel guy now. We can go ahead and put this guy to the test solar array. Let me get that situated right here together with a pathway like so. And then my guy is taking care of that. Oh my gosh. And at the same time, I can just go ahead and do my stuff, you know? 
yeah, let's just leave this guy here and wait for it to complete the build while we take care of this next one. I'm also going to need a portable fusion reactor here, of course, and some exoskeletons. Let me grab three or so. I'm going to put these in here as well. Add a bunch of batteries as well as a personal robo ports what else are we gonna need to build proper outposts i'm sure i forgot something and i'm oh a uh, belt of course we're gonna be needing lots of belts let's say 400 another 400 of the red ones and then a whole bunch of the blue ones also for the blue ones we're gonna need to build underground belts and then maybe a splitter oh actually we're gonna need splitters for all types here additionally we then also need stack inserters i would say let's go with 100 and then finally we're gonna need like two stacks of chests mm, yeah let me think about this for a bit more in the meantime, we add the two batteries and maybe also build another remote. My outpost guy, I'm gonna make pink, just so it is recognizable. And then I can take my other remote here. And that is now the pink remote to build an outpost. If I build an outpost and I realize that I'm missing some materials, then I can always add those materials, of course. But for now, I'm happy this guy exists and I will be able to use it wherever I want. One problem this Spidertron has now is that a lot of the robots are waiting for another robot to take apart something, mostly trees. I noticed that too, and you can avoid that from happening by first taking apart nature. But the problem is then, where is nature gonna go? It needs to go into the Spidertron, right? So that is kind of an issue I haven't thought about and we'll have to regulate that by, for instance, saying we don't want any wood at all zero and then it's going to be automatically added to the trash slot but this also means we'll have to periodically come back i'm just going to go ahead and help my guy out here with nature a little bit but look at that it is just an absolute pleasure without me actually having to get to the location i'm so happy i added two more spidertrons one is going to be solely responsible to grab a whole bunch of landfill let me see i think i still have that inside of my logistics network here yeah this can all be recycled into the other Spidertron. Landfill, let's start with 5,000, see how far that gets us. And of course, also this guy is going to need the usual stuff. Um, let me actually also order some exoskeletons right here. Just give me about 10 or so. This way I can also just insert them here into the Spidertrons. I'm going to need to build a whole bunch of the red ones, which of course are going to be my combat Spidertrons. And I'm going to send in armies in order to eliminate the critters. This guy here is going to require some robo ports and then of course batteries. Wonderful. Uh, I think we can go with up to 8,000 without issues. So I shall set that up. Also hook up this remote here. That's the green one. And then finally, I'm going to need the red remote here, though. I need to figure out how I can make Spidertrons follow another one. Apparently, it's control left mouse button and this should make it follow the green one now. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ah, that's so nice. In this case, let's do the grid of the attack Spidertron. Now, do they need to be fast? Yeah, if I add another portable fusion reactor, it's going to be extremely slow. Hmm. But then they also need protection. Hmm. This might be more difficult than I first anticipated. Let me order a bunch of these shields. I haven't crafted them yet. Why? Ah, I'm missing them in this requester chest. Either way, let's add batteries. Maybe two are going to be enough. Ah, I'm going to add four. Dude, I'm not so sure. I think for the leader, maybe two is enough. And then this guy maybe should just be protected the most with four shields. And the other ones will only add two modules and maybe some lasers. But I might have to think about this for a bit. We can now clean up some of our inventory, like pump checks. We got that covered now. They can leave my inventory. Instead, I'm going to add double as many beacons. I'm usually missing those. I also would like to see a full stack of copper cables. This is practical when manipulating the power poles. And then honestly, I'm probably going to get rid of the different belts and have those just in the outpost Spidertron. Because for every other build, we're now using the blue belts mostly. Mm, actually, we might want to do some weaving patterns. So instead, I'm just going to limit everything to one stack. This way, we at least still have the possibility to do everything, but it's not going to take up as much space. 
Okay, I believe I decided for a configuration. I decided to change this up a little bit. Let's have a look inside the grid by adding another portable fusion reactor. I just realized with the robo ports, the power drain is too drastic. We now only have two batteries and four personal robo ports, just one exoskeleton. And uh, therefore, we are also requesting 50 construction robots here. The same thing with our solar panel guy. We got all of these materials and then also some construction robots. The grid is the exact same. That's going to be my grid for all my construction type of spiders. And to be honest, maybe we don't even need remotes for all of these guys. Yeah, let me actually go ahead and make the blue the leader. So control left click on this guy we can then shift right click to reset the remote here and now the blue one and the green one should work together so then the blue remote just becomes my builder remote and all of the spider trons with various setups are gonna work together though this would then force me to only build in one location at all times i'm not sure i'm a fan of that i would probably like to send various spider trons into various directions and then the pink one here i did not change that one up yet that is just a normal building robot so instead of the exoskeletons let's also add another portable fusion reactor and then an additional robo port right there we want to go ahead and ask for a hundred construction robots and that should be that but what if we add more and more spidertrons i just don't have the remote for that though we could use one of the unused action bars here like if i'm willing to change this up I mean, it's not a lot of effort, but every time I want to use the Spidertron, how do you usually handle that? Just build in one spot? Probably. Either way, let's work on our army. So the red one needs to go over there. And then, um, do I already have one? No, I need another one. Spidertron, uh, right there. Give me one. And we should be able to just copy over all the settings from the logistics. And they're also gonna pick up a bunch of rockets eventually i think right now we're lacking yeah we're also lacking the construction robots but that will not hinder us in already continuing with this this is the configuration for my combat spider trons with just one portable fusion reactor a exoskeleton four of the personal laser defenses then we got the two shields a robot port i figured it might be wise to also bring along repair packs and some construction robots and then we just survive on the fact that we might not have to fight all the time or like for two hours in a row and so we just uh, keep on recharging in between the fights hopefully we don't need to be as quick and agile we're kind of gonna try to solve this with brute force so let's get to energy shields in here a robo port as well and then these are gonna be reserved for our personal laser defenses just gonna need one more and then we already have two spider trons ready this here is my leader so let's maybe shift right click to reset and then uh, connect this guy control left click and then again undo that oh man this is complicated i just have to make sure that the leader is always selected so maybe i'm gonna go with a different setup here different color just slightly just gonna add a hint of purple okay and now we can clearly distinguish the leader from the others but yeah i would say with an army of like five of these we should be able to take care of any nests without you know paying too much attention also let me change the pink this is now too close to the other color what is this guy even doing yeah let's just go with black for this one i like it you get the basic gist i'm now gonna build my army the next episode i'm probably gonna already show it off right now we're not really in a hurry to kill the critters i'm gonna let them accumulate a little bit before we then launch our first attack but also something i just realized with shift you can actually queue up the walking path oh my gosh i'm so stupid how did i not know about this like we can easily make our way around a lake this way and just come back oh, this is amazing okay by the way, at this point with our spider army preparation, I would say we're going to wrap up this step. It will come into action every time we build something and every time we attack something in the future. Maybe just to celebrate, I'm going to go ahead and build these two squares here. I should be able to completely do this. The spider tron is a little bit slower, but now with all the robo ports installed, 
we should have a much easier time. Yeah, except of course for the tree situation, but I think it looks better. Well, stuff is definitely happening quicker because we can charge the robots faster. Hmm. I have to say, it still runs out of power rather quickly. Maybe it hasn't been charged completely or we still need four batteries. That could be. You know, let me know what you think about all the configurations and how you usually do it. I would be really curious to know how you set these guys up. But with that out of the way, we're gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.